So, Patrick, did you watch the big American Idol finale? Uh, no. <laughs> you and me both. Oh. Uh, sorry about that. You know what? I have just been, I don't know, I, I could not care this year. I really just had no interest. And it's your it. job to care. Yeah, kind of is. And, uh... <laughs> I don't know. I tried. I watched a lot. Of, I watched it to a certain point. Then I, I just didn't want to. And from, from what I, you know, uh, who knew? Alfred E. Newman. One does, American Idol. I know. That guy does look a bit like Alfred E. Newman. I thought for sure that the girl was going to win just because uh, she presents me as well, the type of thing that America wants. But well, I guess they America went with the dude. This guy, Scotty McCreary, who... The most innocuous, boring, vanilla, well, middle of the I road. I remember him from the audition episodes. And to me, I mean, I, I don't know. I didn't see the later episodes. I don't know. Could he actually sing? Because all I saw was him. Well, I'm going down. Right, yeah. It's, it's like, and it's, yeah, it's a cute gimmick that you got this 16-year-old kid who sounds like, you know, Tennessee Ernie Ford or something. But, you know, who, you know who's, where's he going to be in 20 years? 20? Where's he going to be in two? <laughs> True. What, <laughs> 20 years? Dear <laughs> Lord. It's been five years, and I, I think t- it's been five years, and Taylor Hicks is going, what? <laughs> Who's calling? You want me uh, to do what? Yes, well, I do enjoy openings for the IGA. Apparently, we are thinking, um, you know, you're thinking, well, what's going to happen to this kid? He's actually fa- already way more successful than Lee DeWise. In terms of downloads. Well, I, um, I, I find that very easy to believe. <laughs> what, Mr. Personality, Lee DeWise? <laughs> um, yeah, Lee DeWise, um, he had this big, his big hit single, uh, American Idol, last year, which, um, well, it's memorable. Who can forget it? I don't uh, know, whatever it was. Um, he sold 2,000 downloads. That's um, it? Two, yep. Yeah. That, is, now, not to sound rude or anything like that, but uh, that's horrible. Mm-hmm. Only two thousand downloads. Two thousand downloads. Chris Allen, remember him? Another uh, another electric personality. Uh, no Ten thousand. Uh, Scotty McCreary, beating them all. Twenty three thousand downloads of this kid. That's not bad. And that's the next night, like the yeah, next day, yeah, right? You, you how did uh, how did Lamberacci? Oh, Lamberacci. Adam, uh, Adam Lambert. How well, did he do? Adam Lambert, who didn't even win, by the way. He's still Actually, one of my favorites. He's... I I really do enjoy. Uh, now he's now that he's like. He, instead of being a uh, uh, flamboyant or interesting or exciting singer, mm-hmm. he's now decided to just be the gay guy. I, it's it's almost like he's trying to be the male Lady Gaga. Yes, yeah, very yeah. good. Yeah, exactly. So how did he do? How many downloads did he get? Oh, he did really well. He got... Because um, he was he pretty popular. 16,000. 16, 16,000 downloads. But still not as much as Scotty. 23,000 downloads. That which, downloads. for one day, that's uh-huh. uh, that's pretty huge. Yeah, it's uh, so. I mean, they and had he to gets pay. and he gets what is it? He gets like uh, twenty cents for every download or something like that. I well, think. I don't think he does. Yeah, he gets something. Does he? he gets like twenty cents or ten cents. It's some weird number. Mm-hmm. I think actually, I think it's ten cents. They get like a uh, dime for every download. So twenty three thousand comes up to, to two thousand. Wow, okay, two thousand three hundred dollars. The, the way they explained it to me, and uh, the way the music business works is. Um, you you get you have a contract that says you get twenty cents a download, and by the time it goes through the accountants, you end up owing them money. <laughs> the but uh, yeah, so American Idol, I don't know. It's it did okay in the ratings. I mean, it did uh, seem to do well. People seem to enjoy it. People seem to like what was going on. But yeah, I uh, mean, you, you can't say the judging was a disaster. No. Um, although although I I admit I I would have liked a, a little bit more critical comments from the judges. Well, apparently, uh, the number one complaint that people had was that uh, the mentor, the guy who was in there saying, okay, do this, oh, do uh, that. Oh, Jimmy Iovine. Yeah, Iovine. apparently he was trying to get people to, because they did the uh, they did the I, uh, iTunes downloads mm-hmm. with what everybody did. So he's trying to get people to do performances that are iTunes ready. So that okay. it can be, you know, so when people download it, they can make it happen and blah, blah, blah. And so he would tell people, okay, um, you know, play it safe, do this, do that, do this, do that. And then they get to, then they do the performance. And then you've got Randy and you've got, uh, uh, you've got Randy and you've got uh, uh, J- Jenny Tyler. from the block and, and Mr. Steven Tyler. They're saying, go bigger. I wanted you mm-hmm. to take more risks to do this, to do that. Uh-huh. And so people are very confused. And then uh, the people who did take risks, they get mm-hmm. voted off. Mm-hmm. And the people who won were like the two safest people. So people are like, well, what the hell is this all about? What's going on? Which is why I think people are tuning into The Voice. Which is doing gangbusters for NBC. NBC thought that this is a good format. 
mm-hmm. but they didn't realize how good of a format. Like, I know for myself, mm-hmm. yesterday, uh, we were looking for something to watch. There was nothing on. And I was like, oh, the voice is on. I was like, well, at least it's singing. At least it's interesting. Let's watch that. And they had, you know, the singing off type thing in yeah, the ring. Right. And they I, call it a battle round? The battle, battle round, round or whatever. And uh, they, you know, they had the one. The first one they did was, uh, uh, what's her name? The girl who got uh, the boot from American Idol. Oh, Frenchie. 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 Yeah, so they had Frenchie yeah. versus somebody. And it was just irritating uh, like <laughs> to watch. Uh, but then I saw what it's supposed to be like, which was yesterday, mm-hmm. where it's one person sings one part of the song, the other person sings the other part of the song. They do, mm-hmm. And I thought, man, that is a really good approach. And I enjoyed it. And then they had the country guy. And the blonde girl, they're mm-hmm. going at it, and they're singing this uh, country love song. I'm not familiar with it. But at the end of it, they make out. Huge Yikes. make out, which was Yikes. exciting. I was like, I've never seen that. I was like, it was genuinely wow. exciting. Where did that come from? And it was interesting. And that was CeeLo. His uh-huh. reaction was the same. And, uh, and, uh, CeeLo's a funny dude. He I, makes me I, laugh I like so hard. He's a great, Talk about personality. You know, they really hit gold with him. Oh, you know, um, no question. He's 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 really like the key element on that show. And Christina Aguilera, wow. Yeah. I can see why the uh, pregnancy rumors started, <laughs> and then people are like, "Oh, she's just gotten fat." Like Christina Aguilera, a girl who used to dance around, you know, showing off this hot, sexy, ripped ab body, and now she's like, "So what have you been doing, Christina? I've been drinking and eating." <laughs> oh, My, you're like, mean. I'm not mean. I'm just saying. That's what the audience. I'm just says. saying. Listen, if girls are have if they put themselves up to be sex symbols, mm-hmm. and that's how they sell themselves, and they sell themselves as sex symbols, you can't then decide to just eat fudge, <laughs> and then expect to be treated the same as before. Like well, it's like know, it's like point. it's like if the situation all of a sudden pulled a Kevin Fetter line. And he oh. puts on 100 pounds, and then he's like, hey, everybody, still buy my Believe workout you, videos. That, like, that I day mean, will come. Oh, that day it's will already come. happening. <laughs> you know, it's very difficult to maintain a physique like that when you, you know, once you hit your 30s. And um, when you party. Your metabolism yeah. changes. And when you, you party know, all the time, like these people do. Mm-hmm. Whatever. But I, I think that uh, The Voice and uh, X Factor... I think those two are going to crush American Idol. X Factor is the X Factor in in what it's going to do to the ratings. I mean, uh, but turmoil on the X Factor, (gasps) and it hasn't even started yet. Oh, that's right. We're going to talk about that next time on the uh, on the podcast. Are you going to give us the inside scoop on uh, what's happening with the X Factor? Uh, I got it. I got the scoop, my friend. I got it all. So uh, check back next time. Find out what's happening with the X Factor. Simon Cowell's mega hit. Is it doomed? Really? I don't know. I'm just, <laughs> just, trying to, just trying to be dramatic. You know, just, they call that a tease in the radio biz, right? You're just going to try to... Until next time, is it's... It, is it doomed? Probably not. But, you know, just, Will the show tomorrow. go off the air? But probably not. But tune in! Will anyone uh, tune in tomorrow? How them probably Duke... Not. Yeah, how them Duke boys going to get themselves out of this one? <laughs> Anyhow, we'll see you next time. <laughs>